Yeah, thanks, Alan. A bit of a delay because of a crash uh, on the slope and joined by a man who knows a bit about that, Mitch Gurley. Mitch, first of all, how are you? How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Obviously, really sad to not be racing today. Um, small fracture in my wrists yesterday from that crash. So, um, sad to not be out there defending my combi title, but, you know, happy it could have been a lot worse. My knees are good and, and my head's good, so you kind of roll with these things. It's part of downhill. Yeah, of course. And from what you from what you've seen from yesterday, have you watched the crash back? What what did you make of it? Yeah, I, I think I just got a little low in the compression there. I'd I'd had some sickness the night before and maybe lacked a bit of power in the legs to, to deal with that. Got deep in the line and um, it's you know it was tough out there yesterday. You saw it with the sitting guys. Once anyone got a little bit out of the line, um, it's really tough snow to kind of come back from and just got hooked up and a couple of tumbles. <laughs> And I know what you're like. I know you'd have been trying to convince your coach to let you ski today. What, what was the chat like? Was there any hope today? Yeah, well, we got the call when we were driving to Vilak to the hospital. Of, they were at the captain's meeting. I said, leave me on the start list. I, I think I can do it. Got there, and once we did the x-rays, the, the doctors there said, look, it's, it's a fracture. And, and while uh, I'm not going to tell you you can't race, you can't race. <laughs> <laughs> that seems fair enough. They are the experts after all. Uh, look, talk to me a little bit about the Aussie team because you guys had a, a really interesting day yesterday. Some fantastic skis and then some not so fantastic skis, of course, and crashes. You guys always seem so relaxed and happy around around the slopes. What, how nice is that to be a part of? Yeah, it's great. We've got a really good young team now. I've been around, obviously, for 12, 13 years now and, and been through a few generations of Australian teams. But I think the one thing that they've always have in common in, is that, that that sort of camaraderie and, and the relaxed attitude of, I guess, we don't really belong here anyway. So we've got that bit of a Jamaican bobsled team vibe about us and, and we come out here and, and do what we can. And, and um, lucky to have the, like, Corey here, the Kiwis. We always tend to sort of flock together, the Southern Hemisphere guys. And um, Adam's been a great help as well when he's around. So... Good luck to him. He's having a baby this week, I think, down in New Zealand. So sad he can't be here, but bigger things. So, yeah. And in terms of the men's standing category, we've got that coming up fairly shortly. Obviously, you're not part of it, but how, how do you see this going? You've, you've had a look at the slope, obviously. Who's, who's, who are you looking to back in this one? I think Artur has got to be my first pick. Um, he's being such an amazing slalom, and he was third yesterday in the speed. Um, I would expect Teo and, and Marcus to be right in there after the Super G, but um, we'll see what happens in the slalom. It's not necessarily their A game, so. Uh, but maybe they'll have enough of a lead to hang on. be interesting. Yeah, we can't wait to watch that. Mitch, thanks for talking to us. Wish you all the very best, of course. Get back soon. And uh, Alan, it's back to you.